Hi there, and welcome to my tutorial on how to build this dynamic calendar in Google Sheets. What's amazing about this calendar is that you can select any month from the built-in drop-down list and everything will update automatically. Plus, you can do this for any year that you want to as well. On top of that, this template will highlight the current date if you so happen to select the current month that you're in, and this template is perfectly sized for printing as well. Just select the calendar with your mouse, and then go to File, Print, choose Selected Cells right here, and then select Landscape or Portrait depending on your preference. After that, just click on Next, and then Print. And then you've got a beautiful calendar to print out for absolutely any month. How amazing is that? If this seems like a template that you want to build, then stick with me as we will build the entire thing from scratch. But if you want to buy it instead of build it, you can find a link to this template in the description as well. Alrighty, that being said, let's get into building this template from scratch. The first thing that we want to do is change the size of column A to 50. So we right click on column A, select resize column, and change the size to 50, and then click on OK. Next, let's resize rows 1 and 3 to size 30. Then, let's resize rows 2 and 6 through 11 to 80. Next, let's resize row 4 to 40. And finally, let's resize row 5 to 10. Awesome. Next, let's select cell B13 and enter in January in all caps. After that, we will use the fill handle to create a list of all the months. Now we will be using this list to power our drop-down menu later on. Speaking of which, Let's move back to the top of the spreadsheet, and then we will select cells B2 through E2. Let's then click this button right here to merge and center. Now with our newly merged cell selected, let's go to Insert and then Drop Down. In the panel on the right, change the criteria to drop down from Arrange. Next, click on this button right here so we can select the data range. We will go ahead and select the list of months that we created in B13 through B24. Finally, click on OK. Next, in the panel on the right, click where it says Advanced Options. Scroll down and change the display style from Chip to Arrow. And then click on Done. We can now close the Data Validation Rules panel on the right. And we have a drop-down that we can use to select the month. For now, let's select the month of June. Now at this point, let's select all of the cells in the worksheet by clicking here, and then let's adjust the horizontal alignment to center. And we'll also adjust the vertical alignment to middle. Next, let's select cells F2 through H2, and then merge and center. After that, let's enter in the year of 2023 for now. We'll then select B2 through H2 and change the font size to 36. Let's also bold the text as well. Moving on, let's select cell B4 and type in, in all caps, S-U-N. We can then use the fill handle to expand this list through H4 to get a list of all the weekdays. With this range selected, let's change the font size to 14 bold the text, add this dark blue fill color right here, change the font color to white, and then let's click on the border button and change the border color to white, and also increase the thickness by one. Then let's click this button right here to add vertical borders in between each cell. Awesome. While we're at it, let's select the cell containing June, and then add a dark blue fill color. Let's also change the font color to white. Then let's select the cell containing 2023 
and add this light blue fill color right here. The look is starting to come together. Let's go ahead and select the range B6 through H11. Then we will click on the fill color button and select the small plus to add a custom color. Now for the hex value, we will enter E9, 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 and then click on OK. This will give us a nice light gray color. Let's also click on the borders button and apply inner borders to this range. Then let's change the font size to 24, change the font color to dark blue, and bold the text as well. Now it's time for some formulas. Let's go ahead and select cell H13. And in this cell, we will enter the formula equals date value, select cell B2, ampersand, double quote, space, one, space, double quote, ampersand, then we'll select cell F2, and then close parentheses and enter. This formula takes the selected month and year and returns the date value for the first day of that month. Let's now select cell H14 and enter the formula equals month and then select cell H13, close parentheses and enter. This formula will return the month number for our generated date and we will be using this later on for conditional formatting. But before that, let's go ahead and select cell B6 and enter the formula equals sequence six comma seven comma and then we will select cell H13. Then we add a minus sign and then we enter the weekday function and then select cell H13 again, close parentheses, add a plus sign, then the number one, close parentheses and enter. This formula generates a six by seven matrix of date values that begins with the first Sunday on or before our generated date value in cell H13. However, right now, it just looks like we have a matrix of random numbers. We can fix this by changing the number formatting. To do this, let's select the range B6 through H11, and then click on the More Formats button, and then select Custom Date and Time. Let's then delete everything that we see here in the Format box. And once everything is gone, we will click on the down arrow, select Day, and then click on Apply. Our matrix of numbers now makes a lot more sense. To finish things up, we just need to add in some conditional formatting. Let's begin by selecting B6 through H11 again, and then we will go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Under Format Cells If, select the option Custom Formula Is, and for the formula, we will enter equals month function B6, close parentheses, left arrow, right arrow, dollar sign, H, dollar sign, 14. Now this formula will look to see which date values do not fall within the selected month, and then it will apply conditional formatting to those cells. From here, let's go ahead and change the fill color to this super light gray, and then we will change the font color to gray. Finally, we can click on Done. Next, click on Add Another Rule. Under Format Cells If, select the option Date Is, and make sure that the option right under that is set to Today. And then change the fill color to yellow, and change the font color to black, and then click on Done. We can now close the conditional formatting panel on the right. Now for the finishing touch, select rows 13 through 24, right click, and hide the rows, and then go to View, Show, and Uncheck Grid Lines. Your Google Sheets dynamic calendar is now officially complete, and you can change the year or month to create a calendar that you need. How amazing and fun was that? I hope you had a blast building this dynamic calendar template for Google Sheets.
and I also hope that you learned a thing or two along the way as well. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below to let me know, and also be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos like this. That being said, until next time, I will see you in the next Spreadsheet Life video.